Number 47, integrated concepts. A 2.5 kilogram firework shell is fired straight up from a mortar and reaches a height of 110 meters. Letter A, neglecting air resistance, a poor assumption, but we will make it for this example. Calculate the shell's velocity when it leaves the mortar. All right, so let's first focus on that part. So uh, let's say that this dot will represent uh, the firework and it's fired straight up, right? Okay, wonderful. And it's going to reach an overall height, it tells us, of 110 meters. So let's just say it reaches this overall height here and the change in its height would be delta Y of 110 meters. Okay. It leaves the mortar, it tells us, with some initial velocity. Right? We don't know what it is. That's what we're looking to find. That's the question. All right. What happens now? That's fine. What happens when it reaches its highest point up here? It's going to go up, 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 and then it's going to come back down, right? So what happens when it reaches the highest point here? What's its velocity in the y direction? It's zero, right? So here we go. Oh, the ice cream man is here. Huh. Do you mind holding on, guys? For I just want... No, I'm kidding. All right. So the final velocity here in the y direction will be equal to zero. Remember that whenever, um, whenever an object reaches its highest point in the y direction, the velocity in that y direction will always be zero. Okay, so that's always something you have to remember. It's not going to be given, uh, but you just got to think about the physics of the problem. Another thing is also, something else isn't given here, but it's assumed that you have to know it. This is essentially a free fall problem, meaning that the object is freely suspended in the air. And uh, guess what force is pulling on that object? Gravity, right? So therefore, this uh, firework is experiencing an acceleration due to gravity, all right, of negative uh, 9.8 meters per second. So that's also something else that we will know that isn't given, but you have to consider the physics. So here's the question. If I want to find the initial velocity, and I know these three things, what formula do I choose? All right, I didn't put them on the side because I need you guys to start remembering this. So it would be this one, right? The final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus two multiplied by the acceleration times the displacement in the y. All right, so what's the final velocity in the y direction? Right, these are all sub y's, that's zero. Easy, the initial velocity in the y direction squared. I don't know what it is, so that's my, um, that's my unknown. Plus two times the acceleration of negative 9.80, multiplied by the height, 110. Right? So this is just zero is equal to the initial velocity in the y squared, minus now, just calculate it. So it'd be two times 9.8 times 110. I know I didn't say the negative, but I didn't forget it. I already put it in there. So this is gonna be 2,160 considering sig figs. So add the 2160 on over to the left-hand side, 2160. That cancels. So then it's 2160 is equal to the initial velocity in the y direction squared. To get rid of the square, we got to take the square root. So just plug that into the calculator and then we get initial velocity in the y direction is equal to, remember, when you take the square root, you get a plus and a minus. Okay. Oh, okay. So second square root of 2160. So we get a value of 46.5. 46.5 meters per second. Now, which value is it, positive or negative? Consider the motion. Where, where is it pointing? It's pointing up, right? Therefore, it has to be positive. So that is the initial velocity in the y direction. That's the velocity that the firework is leaving the um, mortar with, okay? So that takes care of that. Letter B. The mortar itself is a tube, 0.45 uh, meters long. Calculate the average acceleration of the shell in the tube as it goes from zero to the velocity found in part A. All right, so to detail now a little picture uh, for that, let me just call this A and now we'll uh, work on B. Uh, we'll do B over here. So uh, what do we got? Okay, so let's say here's where the firework starts, right? It's in this mortar looking thing. I don't even know what that is, but I'm assuming this is what it is. The height or the length of the mortar they told us is um, 0.45, right? So this is essentially a delta Y, 0 0.45, zero meters. Um, what else do we have here? We know the initial velocity, right, of the object. At this particular location, they told us is zero. So I'll call that zero, right? Um, what else do we know? We do know the final velocity, right? Once it, it's gonna be accelerated out of the tube here. Okay, and once it reaches the end of the mortar, it then leaves the tube with the velocity we found here in part A, it told us. 
So that's really for the frame of this problem, that's actually the final velocity now, right? So remember, these are just relative terms. So the initial of the first frame is now the final of the second. That's no problem. They're all relative frames. So 46.5 meters per second. And what we're doing is we're looking for the acceleration, right? That's what we're trying to calculate. So what's the acceleration when it travels this distance and it goes from 0 to 46.5 meters per second? How do we find it? Well, guess what? Same equation as letter A, right? So let me do that over here. So letter B is, um, so change in, uh, sorry. So the final velocity in the y direction squared is equal to the initial velocity in the y direction squared plus two times the acceleration in that y multiplied by the displacement in the y direction. So the final velocity was 46.5, right? That's squared. All right, that'll equal the initial, which was zero two times the accelerations, which is what we are looking for, and the change in the displacement in the y direction was 0 0.450 meters. All right, so let's just uh, plug it in. So when we square 46.5, considering significant figures, it should be 2160. All right, this is zero, and now this will be plus two times 0 0.45, so that should be 0 0900 0 A, and now just divide out this side by 0 0.900, right? 0 0.900, so letter A, oh, the ice cream man is back, ladies and gentlemen. He's really tempting me. I really, I, I could go for an ice cream right now. Anyway, 2,400 and, two, yeah, 2,400, uh, it's going to be, wow, that's crazy, meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration. All right, so that was letter, uh, letter B. And now let's take a look at letter C. So what is the average force, what is the average force in the shell of the mortar? Okay, so when we, uh, think about this, when we consider the forces acting on the uh, object, what we have to do, first, let's draw a free body diagram. So where am I going to do that? Let's do C on down here. I'll draw the picture for C over here. All right, and let's do it right down here. All right, so uh, when we're talking about the forces acting on the shell, okay, there's going to be two forces, right? So I'm really talking about it at this particular point right there. All right, well, over in the, follow me on the bottom left, guys. Right here, I'm talking about it at this point right there. All right, there is a force due to gravity. There's always a force due to gravity, right? Assuming you're on Earth somewhere, not out in space or whatnot. So there's a force due to gravity. Okay, so what is the, how is that represented? Well, it's a force that acts straight down on an object. Okay, and what is that? That's the weight. That's known as the weight of the object. What's the formula for weight? Right-hand side, guys. Weight is equal to mg. So, what's the uh, mass of this uh, firework? Well, it told us 2.5. 2.50 kilograms, right? That's up at the top here. And that's multiplied by g, which is 9.80. So I can find the weight, right? Simply just plug this in now. 2.5 times 9.8 and 24.5. So we get 24.5 and that is in newtons. Okay, good. Remember, it's pointing down. Now, there's going to be some net force pointing up, right? How do I know that? Well, the, the firework is being shot up. So there has to be some force pointing up to propel it upwards. I also know, based on the right physics of the problem, that there is a net uh, acceleration in the positive y direction. What is that? Well, that's what we just found over here. That's the 24,000, right? So acceleration here is going to be, not 24,000, excuse me, 2,400 meters per second squared. Okay, so now, do we have everything we need? Yeah, we do, right? We can now do the sum of the forces in the y uh, formula, okay? So let me do that over here. Sum of the forces in the y is equal to the mass of the object that's accelerating multiplied by its acceleration in the y. So I have a positive f minus the weight, because it's pointing down here, minus 24.5, is equal to the mass of the firework of 2.50 newton, uh, excuse me, kilograms, multiplied by its acceleration of 2,400. Okay, so all I have to simply do is add the uh, 24.5 on over, 24.5, and I got my answer. All right, so the force is equal to here, 2.5 times 2,400 plus 24.5. And what do we get here? So we're gonna get, let's do three significant figures, so it looks like it's going to be something like 6.02 times 10 raised to the third. Times 10 raised to the third newtons. And that would be the force. 
All right, let me just make, what is the average force on the shell? Just make sure I calculate that right. What is the average force on the shell? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped you a lot. And if you wouldn't mind, give us a little hand by hitting that subscribe button. That would be great. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in.